Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So, as you can see, I've had my extensions taken out. Does anyone else? I know my hair is long. My hair has grown like mad since I started putting extensions in, which is wild because you'd... I don't know why. I always just assumed. I feel like it's maybe it's like a old-fashioned way of thinking, but extensions don't damage your hair anymore if they're applied correctly and if you choose like the right method for your hair and I feel like the method I've been using has just like excelled the growth of my hair because <laughs> excuse me who is she with all this long Goldilocks hair it's me Jess <laughs> anyway um yeah Emmanuel took my hair extensions out this morning Ugh, I'm about to run out of card space hang on Right, we're sorted. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought um, we could spend the evening together. Emmanuel has gone off to night shift. So, yeah, it's just me and you, chilling. So, I do have a couple of PR packages that I wanted to unbox and show you. I say unbox, I've already opened them. But um, to show you, because I had a couple of parcels delivered today, which is very exciting. Um, the first one is this company called elite <laughs> is it elite or elite or l eat i don't know i think it's elite um and essentially they reached out to me on instagram and asked me if i wanted to try out some of their cereals which i'm actually quite excited because now they've come they look delicious i won't lie um so they've sent me three different cereals um this one is a chocolate caramel one which looks unreal and this one they're all like high protein this is 15 grams of protein and yeah they're, they're all vegan friendly gluten free gut friendly low sugar high fiber high protein yeah uh chocolate caramel We've also got chocolate triumph which looks nice and a cinnamon sensation so i'm excited to try them i don't know which one to try first i feel like i'll probably try this one the chocolate triumph um but then they also sent these little mini pots which i thought were handy for like just on the go this one is uh, which was oh vanilla thriller which i think will probably be my favorite because you know what i'm like with vanilla vanilla is just like my oh it's delicious um and a strawberry blitz one so and these are again 15 grams of um protein seven grams of fiber one gram of sugar like i think all of these yeah they all have um one gram of sugar per portion which i thought was pretty good so yeah excited to try them but they also really randomly sent me a pair of socks as well um because why not? <laughs> oh so yeah, we've got some socks. Don't know what size they are, but yeah. So yeah, thank you very much Elite Elite for sending me those over. I can't wait to try those. But one thing I'm gonna be trying tonight is what I got sent over by Quorn. Now let me get them because I did have to put them in the freezer. So they actually sent them over in this little Quorn like cooler bag which i thought was so cool um but they sent me some corn sausages which i've tried before and i rate them they're good um a corn roast now if you remember back in the day when i was like full-blown vegetarian these corn roasts were just like i just had them every sunday so they are nice so i'm buzzing about that i haven't had one of them in ages and then i think this is one of their new ones which is the ham roast which is what I think I'm going to try tonight. Um, so how long does this take? Where's the instructor? Oh, here we go. 55 minutes. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to pop this in the oven. We're going to have this for tea and I'll be able to wait for you. But <clears throat> do you know what it is, right? Although I'm not vegetarian anymore, I still, like, it's really odd. Sometimes I get a real ick for meat. So having vegetarian stuff in the freezer is probably handy for me because sometimes like I overeat chicken or like overeat a certain type of meat where I start going like oh I really don't want that anymore like it starts to give like I say give me the ick so yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna try this ham roast I'll let you know what it's like I'm excited though let's open it one thing I do remember about these or the corn roast like the normal roast anyway was that when in the, in the oven like the bag the bag just like goes massive and then burst <laughs> so yeah oh hang on why can't i get this open there we go um so yeah they, they also sent a little card where did i put the card where did i put the card 
I literally just had the card. Oh, I put, covered it up. Um, yeah, they sent me a little card which says, Happy Easter, love team Quorn. So thank you very much, Quorn. We'll be trying that tonight. Excited. Um, the rest I'll pop back in the freezer for another day. But yeah, thank you very much. nice I'm intrigued um, it smells different to the regular one but obviously it's supposed to be a ham roast so let me just take a picture of it this is the worst lighting in this kitchen um, <laughs> so let me try it was a nice and fork I always find the consistency of like vegetarian slash vegan stuff interesting Well, that's actually quite nice. Did I say consistency? Is it texture? Texture? Yeah, the texture's a bit odd. I always find them a bit like that. <laughs> but it actually tastes really nice. I rate that. It's quite funny how I've got a vegetarian roast or ham roast with beef gravy on it. Oops. Obviously, if I was vegetarian, I wouldn't do that. But I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this. I've just got some veggies with it, as you saw. Um, and watch some telly and I'll speak to you a little bit later on right I've had my tea and I've just been watching some telly and I'm just going to do a little bit of um, general tidying up because I mean the house is fine it's not like dirty but it just uh, it just needs a little bit of a straighten up if you know what I mean so can we prop you on here will this work oh new angle guys new angle <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah, that works. Hey! <laughs> I love putting up new shelves. New opportunities. Right. Let's, um, yeah, let's have a little bit of a tidy up. There's not much to do in here, if I'm honest. Um, I was using this to measure, do my measurement the other day because this website that I was looking at for engagement party dresses um, it was Odd Muse, that was it, Odd Muse, and I was trying to work out what the sizes were like and uh, it really annoys me when companies do their measurements as like small, medium, large, etc. Because, like, what does that even mean? So you always have to go on and see what their small, like, what their, well, for me, it would be like an extra large, um, see what measurement their extra large is because it's different from, like, every company. So I had to do my measurements. You don't think it'd just be so much easier if I had like size, like the numbers, like normal. But anyway, yeah, so I did my measurements and I did look at a dress, but it was on pre-order. I don't know whether it's gonna be back, like in in time. So I don't know. I'm like deciding whether to order it or not because they're not cheap, but I don't know. Anyway, let's tidy this hoose. And leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture, I could see if I just close my eyes, have the foresight to believe. Okay, I have to ask, when is the right time to get rid of flowers? Because, like, these roses, I've had for nearly oh, I've had for nearly three weeks now. I feel like they're still hanging on. Um, <laughs> so these are the ones that I um, got given by Emmanuel when he proposed. So they've lasted really well. The like the lilies have gone, um, and these ones, these beautiful roses, were from Steph. So these are definitely hanging on. They are going a little bit, you know, on the edges. But just need to pop a bit more water in that one. Um, these ones, I think, some of it needs to come out like this. Maybe these. <laughs> um, but again, the rose is really hanging on. Um, so, yeah, when, like, what do I do with it? Because I quite, to be fair, it's not that bad. It doesn't look bad at all. So, yeah. And these are all our lovely cards that we got from everyone. These are from, this one just arrived today from my manager, which I thought was cute. So, yeah. Um, and this one's from my auntie and uncle. 
we've got from my sister here. Um, this one's from Steph, but she actually got me this um, with a gift. So she's, I've got two cards from them. So this is from Steph and her husband. And then this one is from my mum and dad. And then this is actually my Valentine's card from Emmanuel. So that's still there. Um, but yeah, so this room I think is done in terms of like tidying, cleaning, it's fine. Um, now I'm gonna move on to the kitchen, which looks a little bit more, um, a little bit more work. Hello. Time don't move backwards, it speeds to the future fitlessly. Charging forward when I open my mouth, though I may not know how. this guys right I got this from Etsy and it's like a customizable bunting I didn't even know you could get this so this won't say Taylor this will say like our future last name but in it I don't think it was that expensive either you get I don't know if you can see that hang on let me get them out it's basically like letter cards and then some string and you just feed it through which I thought was brilliant so we're gonna put that up at the engagement party and I also, and I also picked up something else um, from Vinted actually, and it's another bunting. <laughs> it's uh, this one, and it's it's basically bunting which says engaged on it, like that. So that'll look nice, I think. Um, but we're just kind of starting to collect things that we can use for the engagement party. For example, found two plastic. Um, Champagne glasses, which <laughs> will be taken. Because um, the amount of people that are coming, we don't have enough glasses for. So we need to need to start collecting our glasses and um, stuff like that. So I think we're actually going to go to Costco and have a look around there for like. Hang on, let me put this light back on. There we go. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a look around Costco because my parents have just signed up. Um, for a Costco membership so we're gonna go as there like I'll go as my mum's plus one and he'll go as my dad's plus one kind of thing and have a look around for like just not disposable but um reusable cutlery and um like paper plates and stuff I know you can't buy um like plastic disposable stuff anymore can you so be interesting to see what um what we can get but yeah I think the downstairs is pretty much tidy now so I'm just gonna head upstairs and see what we're dealing with up here. I've got things like scattered around the landing and stuff because whilst he was asleep after night shift, I had to sneak in and like get my hair dryer and straighteners and stuff. So I need to pop all of that back, including all my skincare and stuff that I used. Um, this is my hair, <laughs> which looks like a dead animal on the table. So yeah, I need to kind of brush that and tie it into like almost a ponytail and put that back somewhere to so keep it. Um, but yeah, so it's just this. I need to put the washing away, make the bed. That's about it, I think. Um, oh, I took my like, <laughs> I took my false eyelashes off in the middle of the night the other night and um, put. Well, I did put them on the bedside table, but I think Billy's had a little go at them and they're now like on the floor and stuff as well. So yeah. Whatever happens, I'm good I'm good Actually, morning good uh -huh. Kinda great uh -huh. Even on the bad days I thank God for making me sock That's so frustrating where's the other sock uh we were doing so good i like literally have had weeks and weeks where i haven't had odd socks damn it I 
to be. Guys, I am so late to the trend with this. And I feel like some of you are going to be like, Jess, come on, we knew about this like last year. This. So I was very, very reluctant to try this um, because, I mean, look at the size of it. Not much, right? £22. <sighs> However, <laughs> I saw it in uh, Boots. It was on the, like, in the queue. Do you know, like, when you stand in the queue and they've got the things on the side to try and, like, entice you to buy things? Well, it worked. Um, and I thought, do you know what it is? One-off. I'll buy it as a one-off. See what the hype's about. I wish I hadn't now because this is unreal. This stuff... It makes me want to moisturise. Like, I'm so... Sorry, I keep smelling it. I keep... I'm I'm such a bad person for moisturising, like, my body. I'm good at my skincare, like, my face. Um, My body, not so much. And this, I swear, was trending on TikTok, like, sometime last year, or maybe it's even, like, 2020 onwards. Um, it's, I've seen it on TikTok shop. I've seen that home bargains do a dupe. So that fact completely left my mind when I saw this and I thought yeah I'll give it a go should have just bought the dupe from home bargains um but when I have finished this because I love it so much I keep playing with it stop um, <laughs> because I love it so much once I finish that I will have to try the dupe from home bargains and say whether it like matches up um but my skin has never felt softer and it smells I put it on this morning like my skin still smells delicious so yeah that's that <laughs> um also still currently obsessed with this garnier um vitamin c spf um completely replacing my body shop one that i swore by this stuff has got like gold it is brilliant um so yeah i need to do my skincare actually because i'm looking a little bit shiny but I also need to do some editing tonight because i have this video and the video that's going up on friday to edit still um yeah <laughs> that's about it i let's see what time is it it's 20 to midnight 20 to midnight i kind of feel like i'm i've completely like switched my sleeping pattern whilst um emmanuel has been on nights i feel like we mirror each other when it comes to stuff like that so like when he's on nights like i can't sleep properly so i end up really tired during the day and sleeping a little bit like having naps and things during the day which then means that i'm like staying up later and later during the night but tonight's his last night shift and then he's got like a whole week off so yeah <laughs> so hopefully my sleeping button can get a little bit back to normal because then the week after that i am back at work i can't believe that it's been a whole month since i've been off it's wild absolutely wild and i do kind of miss this like not going to work <laughs> <laughs> which I think everyone I think if everyone had the opportunity to not go to work and work from home instead then they probably would so yeah there's that but I do need to go back to work the officer have been ringing me I've been not answering my calls <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah I need to go back to work put in my availability and stuff and start picking up some shifts again so anyway I'm gonna do my skincare let me get my stuff hang on don't mind me, I've got my cleanser on. <laughs> I just thought, why am I bringing my stuff to the bedroom when I have a bathroom that I can do my skincare in? Um, so yeah, got my, this is my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. You guys have seen this a million times, but I'm running low. <laughs> so I need to pick up some more of that at some point. I actually, do you know what it is? I haven't used the Lancome one in a little while. Don't really know why. I feel like I see the Lancome one, and by the Lancome one, I mean this. Um, it came in a two pack with the toner that I swear by. I do have it up there, but I kind of see it almost as like a makeup remover rather than a cleanser, even though it is a cleanser. If I were to have a full face of makeup on, I would use that first to take my makeup off and then use the Elemis cleansing balm as like a second cleanser. But I don't really know why I've got it in my brain that that's how it should be done, but never mind. Um, so yeah. So we got that. Then I'm just gonna go in this stuff. Chef's kiss. 
the Dermatica, I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> it's terrible. I did work with them as well, so I should know these things, but yeah, I've been using this like every night and just look what it does to my skin. I want to put it on. Oh, look at that. Delicious. <laughs> so, yeah, you need to make sure that you moisturize with this stuff though, because it does, like the first, how do I say, is it a ret I think it's a retinol actually, that's why. So the first like six weeks of it, you're probably thinking, oh my God, this is terrible for my skin. It's not, It honestly, it gets better. Where have I put my moisturizer now? Oh God, I keep, scat like I've scattered everything around the house because I had to get ready, like not in the bedroom, so. <laughs> Got it. Let me just put my SPF back before I forget. Um, yeah, so the first, like, I want to say six to 12 weeks, your skin's like still getting used to it because of the type of like skincare it is. So just make sure you lather up with moisturizer. I do anyway, but you know, this is my usual Charlotte Tilbury uh, magic cream. I do still have like, I mean, I'm only like halfway through this one, but I do have another two pots to go through because I bought two, <laughs> I bought two in the Black Friday sale um, last year, I say last year, it was like November, and then I got one for Christmas as well, so, and then what, like I was still making my way through one when I got all that, so, so I'm gradually making my way through four, through four magic creams, um, so I've definitely got enough of that for now, so yeah, skincare done. Got a little pimple there, which has been, it's been popped. It's just making its way off my face, thankfully. So yeah, is that it? I think that's it. Right, I'm ready for bed. I need to put my pajamas on. I'm not ready for bed, but that's it. I think we're tidy, aside for this random pair of pliers that <laughs> was used to take my hair extensions out this morning, ignore that. Um, yeah, everything's done. Ready to go to bed, so. Let me just, oh, itchy nose. Let me just sit and end the vlog. Me and my mum and my sister are going on Saturday to get facials, which is very exciting. We're going to the Lancome, no, yes. We're going to, <laughs> we're going to Lancome in Harrods Beauty in the Metro Centre to get that done, which is very exciting. Um, I did have it done already. I think I, got, I showed you guys that. Um, so I thought I'd treat my mum and my sister for Mother's Day. I know it's very like belated, but on Mother's Day weekend, my mum, my auntie and my nana went down to Harrogate and actually spread my granddad's ashes. So, so I'm doing the facials with my mum and my sister and then my sister's actually taking us all for afternoon tea at the Running Fox at some point. I think that's in April sometime. So yeah, very much looking forward to that. But I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here because I feel like I've talked your heads off. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, go hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. Tell me what you wanna do. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love you, let me love you.